another JKD class. I've noticed that the days are getting shorter. When I started these vlogs, I'm pretty sure it was still kind of bright when I left for class, but now it's, uh, it's definitely well on its way to dark when I leave. You can see all the street lights on behind me. Ooh, tough class today. I've been getting kind of out of shape the last couple weeks, and it was showing. All right, this JKD class was sort of wrestling focused, I guess. Uh, we focused on a bunch of different takedowns, which I am still pretty bad at. The first of them was a single leg takedown, so like you're sparring your partner, and you come in and you grab the front leg, and you sort of push them down. So you use that first leg as leverage, and then you push them. You grab that front leg, and then you push your partner down. It sort of reminds me of that sort of double leg style takedown you see in MMA sometimes, where you grab both legs and then throw your shoulder into the other person as you pull their legs out from under them. But instead of two legs, you're only grabbing one leg. Grabbing one and pushing. I think we were actually pushing with our arm, not our shoulder. So you're grabbing and pushing. The next one was sort of from like a Muay Thai style clinch, I guess. So you grabbed around the neck with your hands sort of clasped behind their head. After you grabbed your opponent, you just sort of pulled back and down so that they sort of came down with you. And I could not do this one. Could not do this one at all. The problem I had was that in order to get my opponent down, I had to get myself down too, and that's not what I wanted to do. So the instructor could sort of get them down without him going too far down. But I went like all the way down in order to get them down. So I don't know if my, my angle or my pull was wrong or something, but I was ending up on the ground too. Which is definitely wrong, I'm just not quite sure what it was I was doing wrong, unfortunately. And then the third one was a sweep. So you're grappling with your opponent, and then you get one hand on their neck. So instead of the two hands clinch, you just have one hand. Um, and then we swept. The one difference, though, was that when I sweep in Tung Sudo, I'm used to sort of kicking sort of the back of the calf or maybe down near the ankle. But what we were doing is we were kicking basically the back of the knee. So in Tung Sudo, the leg sort of comes out relatively straight and then comes back, but in order to get the back of the knee, you had to bring your leg up quite a bit more. Your kick was much higher to get that back of the knee instead of the bottom of the calf. And I had trouble with that just because I've been doing it the other way for so long that it was difficult to do something so very different, I guess. And also because I'm bad at sweeps. After we did those sweeps and takedowns and stuff, we did some kicking practice, just pad drills with our partner, working on different kicks, front kicks, side kicks, roundhouse kicks, things like that for power, for speed. Uh, but the, the meat of this class was definitely those takedowns, which, just like with the head movement, is probably good because it's something that I'm really bad at and definitely need to practice more. It's definitely frustrating being bad at it, but this is how you get better, right? Rainy day for a JKD class today. All right, this JKD class started out with some solo bag work, uh, just whatever we wanted to do on the bag before we moved into um, counter punch that we did two bits with. The first was just the counter and the punch, uh, either one way or the other way, depending on whether the opponent attacked with a jab or a cross. So if their punch was coming from this side in, 
you dodge to the side, blocked and punched. And if it was coming from this side, in, you dodge this way, blocked and punched. I wasn't too bad at it when we were just doing one, like jab, 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 block, punch, block, punch, block, punch, or cross, 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 block, punch, block, punch, block, punch. But once the attacker could do both, I kept screwing it up because I would go the wrong way just into the punch. That's more of me just not being good at head movement, I think. Hopefully I'll get better. But it was a pretty, a pretty simple dodge and block overall. Nice, quick and dirty. Nothing, nothing fancy about it or anything. I felt that that uh, dodge punch um, built really well on the sort of dodge that we had done a couple weeks earlier. So a couple weeks earlier we'd done jab, dodge, jab again. But I felt that this sort of built on it well. You can jab and then you can just go straight into the block and jab instead of dodging the head, depending on distancing and stuff. But since it's the same motion, I feel like it, it builds on itself well. From there we made it a little longer. After doing the dodge and the punch, you had to come in with two hook punches, and the original puncher had to guard against them. So one person stepped in with the attack and then had to guard, and the other person had to counter punch and then attack. I've said it before, this is my favorite kind of drill because it gets both people involved. Instead of one person just attack, 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 and the other person defend, 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 you get to uh, sort of bounce back and forth between the two. So you have to be thinking attack or defense, which is probably more realistic if you got in a fight. Of course it's a drill, not a fight, but the, the point is to get as close to realistic as possible, right? And you got to build up to that. After that bit, we did uh, some combos out of a kick defense. So we were doing the kick defense, either check the leg, check the leg, check the leg, or cover and block, followed by a combo. Some of the combos that we did, uh, like check the leg and then land into a jab cross hook, or block the leg on the other side and then come in with cross hook cross. I'm pretty sure there were more, but I didn't write down the specific ones we did, so I'm just trying to remember which combos we did and those were the ones that popped into my head. I think stuff like this is very important because I feel like a lot of people, especially when they start martial arts and they start sparring and stuff, they can only do one thing. They can defend or they can attack. So if someone's attacking them, they're going to defend and block and stuff, but they won't counter. They won't attack back. Or if they're attacking and then their opponent counters, they won't block or dodge and they'll just get hit. So I think this kind of drill is important because it puts the two of them together. You're blocking an attack at the beginning, that kick, and then you're going on the offensive right away. I think that's uh, an important thing to practice because it, uh, it transitions, I think, very well into sparring and then probably into real fighting as well because eventually you're going to have to attack. And then after that we did some sparring. Um, I was trying to work some of those combos specifically because there weren't too many kicks in them um, so that I could practice my boxing and my punching and my head motion and stuff. Particularly useful were that one we did at the beginning, the dodge and punch because I could uh, practice that head motion and also some blocking and also some countering it forced me to fight a little bit closer and I was both practicing the things from this class and also working on my boxing and trying to not focus on kicks so that was all really good 